You'll often be asked to classify numbers using uh, words to describe them. Um, the first thing that you'd need to know is that we're, when we're dealing with real numbers, that means these are numbers that do not have the letter I associated with it. Those things that deal with the letter I are called imaginary, and we're not dealing with those in that vi this video. We're dealing with only things that are real. Having said that, there are one, two, three, four, five different types of real numbers, and each of these can potentially have, each number can have more than one way to describe or classify that particular thing. So let's get into which ones are which. Switch colors here. Let's begin with the smallest group of natural numbers. I have a number line down here. Um, natural numbers begin at the number one and go up from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, up to infinity. These are all natural numbers. So number three is natural. Number one is natural. Number zero is not natural because that's the next number group. Starting at zero and going in that same direction is when we deal with whole numbers. Integers start way over here to the left at what we might refer to as negative infinity and go the whole way up to positive infinity, but we stick to what we'd call positive and negative whole numbers. So these are integers. Now just for clarification, if we pulled the number negative three, that would only be an integer. If we took the number zero, it would be a whole number and an integer. And if we took the number three, for example, it would be natural, whole, and integer. So different numbers can have different amounts of classifications that associate with them. That's just based on their definition. Now, not to be outdone, we have rational. Now, rational numbers are just like integers in a way because all of the integers are all rational numbers, but we also get some stuff in between as well. So rational numbers have an awful lot going on here. So with rational numbers, all the stuff in between, or almost all the stuff in between, plus the numbers themselves are rational. Rational numbers like 1.2 or 1.345, for example, are rational. You'll notice those decimals stop or terminate after a few decimal places. Decimals that repeat are considered rational, and numbers that have no decimal at all, interestingly, are also considered rational. Okay, that's the concept. Now, if we switch to irrational, irrational are not in any of these things. Okay, it's important to note that if you have an irrational number, it is never natural, whole, integer, or rational. If it's irrational, it's only irrational, and you could maybe argue that it's real as well. So irrational is its own thing, and what is it? Well, it also lives in this gap in between, but it does not include the numbers. It only deals with the stuff in between and the stuff in between that's not included in rational. So it's kind of the leftover. In other words, it's the decimals that have no pattern and continue on with no pattern forever. Three, four, nine, oh, three. There's no pattern there. And the three dots show that that no patternness, whatever word that is, continues on forever. And you'll sometimes see that represented with squares and cubes that are non-perfect. So those are irrational. Again, rational, integer, whole, and natural can blend together and can kind of overlap. Irrationals are their own thing, and all of them are examples of real numbers.